side with Bob Humphreys. Well, Mike, behind but only just to those two penalties, how do you turn it round in the second half? Well, we have to carry the ball a little bit more and uh, get quicker ball, from, especially from Ruck and from Scrum. Uh, it was a question, really, of them taking their chances with their kicks. We missed a couple of kicks. We've got to make better use of our possession and pressure. It looked as though Pont de were exerting a, a bit of pressure towards the end of that half. They seemed to be dominating territorial towards the end of that half. Well, they did, and uh, they, they started to secure penalties, and that put us under a lot more pressure. But another 40 minutes to go, we'll hope to raise the tempo. Mike, thanks very much. Cheers. Well, the wind is uh, definitely with uh, Swansea now, second half. Do you see Swansea taking this? Well, you know, hopefully, but a uh, key word there, what Mike said, we need to raise the tempo yeah. of it, you know, Ponte are playing their steamrolling game, getting lost with possession, and uh, we're soaking up in defence, so if we can get a bit more tempo to the game, hopefully we can turn it round. Right, Adwell, quick word now from Dennis John. Well, Dennis, plenty of pressure territory there towards the end. How do you turn that pressure into tries? Well, we've got to just keep on trying. They've been allowed to get away with quite a bit of killing the ball. I thought it was a case for a penalty try there, but we didn't get it. But we've got to keep on going. And at the end of the day, if we allow them to stay there, so far we might have to walk all over them a bit instead of putting our hands in. What have you said to the players? Exactly that. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Bob. All right, the second half about to get underway. Let's rejoin John Williams and Hugh Quellen Davis. Excitement all around the ground, 40 minutes to go. The third meeting between the two sides this season, it's 2-0 at the moment to Swansea. But they're now facing what breeze is still here at Sardis Road. And again, a huge test of character for both sides. Yes, the referee decided the ball wasn't on the ground in the turnover. Scrum down to Pontypridd. Keith Conclough far side. We mentioned the great testimony to his fitness and his durability is still there. He'll be 39 in just under a fortnight's time. March the 15th, and he's just taken over from a 21-year-old at tight head. There's the man, a great servant of one club. Karin Jenkins with ball in hand will need all his powers of inspiration in the second half. Steve Moore took it well under pressure there, bundled out but held on. Stuart Davis trying to control things former captain of Swansea, very intelligent number eight, Alid Williams slips it out to Scott Gibbs, they're trying to attack from deep here, through Dean Thomas, the flank forward. Not ten, it's almost inevitable now when that quick penalty is taken, Something the lawmakers will have to look at, I'm sure, over the next season or so. Paul John thought that was free ball. Paul Adams said no. Colin Chavez driving on to that Pontypridd 10 metre line. Better start by Swansea to the second half. Matthew back, wriggles away. Paul Arnold, good support from the big man. He's up to the 22. Positive play by Swansea. And on the switch was Scott Gibbs, just held on. Paul John does an immense amount of tackling for Ponte Plath, and it was his tackle that just held on to Scott Gibbs again. But they've conceded the penalty, and now will Swansea go for goal and try and get their first points? Yeah, surely they will go for goal. They're calling for Alan Williams, three points early in the second half. Good start by Swansea, fabulous hands by Alan Williams there, slipping that ball back in to Scott Gibbs. A good continuity by the forwards on the charge. Good switch inside there. Matthew Buck wriggling, trying to get free. Paul John just pulling back. And then Arnold, who loves to have the ball in his hands, and when he's tackled, lays the ball back. Now watch how Halliday Williams takes this ball high. And then switches inside, finds Scott Gibbs. Good continuity. Alid Williams, the creator, now becomes Alid Williams, the kicker. 
he and Swansea need this. For the third time, he's pulled it left and wide. Three relatively simple chances, two in the first half. Now one early in the second again, but Swansea still don't have any points. Warren Leach taking the ball at pace. Gibbs out to back. Back. Stay on your feet. Stay on your feet. Swansea ball on opposition 22. Dean Thomas wasn't expecting that. So Mark Taylor tidies up. Nowhere to go really. And all on his own. break because there is an injury outright for Swansea, a player lying out on the ground, not quite sure at the moment who it is, John. Could it be Aled Williams, perhaps? I think it is Aled Williams. This is a good second half start by Swansea. Pontypridd haven't touched the ball second half. The continuity is outstanding, taking the ball into tackles and always winning it. But this is worrying for them. They've got one outside half out of the game already. That's Adwell Thomas. And now his replacement for the afternoon, Alid Williams, looks in some discomfort. Luke Evans is on the bench. Had some experience at outside half. Salud Williams. There, McIntosh came in late. The later hit him from the back. That was a nasty tackle. He is a little shaken up, and that's the man who did it, Dale McIntosh. Yes, Luke Evans can, is quite a reliable goal kicker, though Alan Williams is on his feet, shaken up he is. Well, Alan Williams is all right, that's good to see. A little word from the referee. But not directed at Dale McIntosh. Neither he or the touch judges then picked up that late shoulder charge in the back of Alid Williams. Mark Taylor, a threatening run by the Welsh International Centre. Swansea ball, Scott Gibbs. The man out wide is Colin Chavez. Crushes aside Geraint Lewis. Inside is Scott Gibbs. Great work by the international number six there. They're whistling and shouting and bellowing all round the ground. Pontypridd supporters thought that the far touch judge wanted to attract Paul Adams' attention, but nothing of the kind. It's just a penalty as uh, Swansea hung on in the tackle. But Chavez again, JJ, showing how he's developed. We saw him earlier on, and uh, the confidence that international recognition comes uh, brings to a player. As Scott Gibbs fed him early then, and he just showed his tremendous speed to run through Geraint Lewis' tackle there. This man is, is developing all the time. He scored eight tries already in the league this season, three of those in Swansea's last league game against Dunvant. But this time, it's number eight for Pontypridd, Dale McIntosh on the charge. First time for Ponty to have the ball in their hands in the second half, and they want to make it count. Neil Einan scored from almost that range at St Helens in the Cup. This time it's Jenkins, Gerrit Lewis! It's a try! Swansea pointing towards the touch judge. Touch judge seemed uncertain. In the end, despite the protestations, he said Gerrit Lewis wasn't in touch. It's a try. It's the first of the afternoon. And Pontypridd are up to 11. And Pontypridd needed this. There was the in touch. Lovely play by Jenkins there. Goes for the cup. And then pops it up. Doesn't go forward. Was it in touch? No, I don't think so. Great try by Pontypridd. Desperately needed that. Yes, 
nowhere near really. Pictures tell us the man who stepped on the touchline was the Swansea defender. The punt to play the tackle was quite right, despite the fact that Gerard Lewis immediately looked behind to see if it had been allowed. Jenkins slipped as he lined it up. It was on a fabulous cliff pass by Neil Jenkins. Got, got in the opposition, then made some space for Gerard Lewis.